Edward, do you know any hadith that speak about the virtues of sadaqah? Uh, I know one, uh, one where uh, sadaqah extinguishes uh, sins like uh, water extinguishes fire. MashaAllah, that's excellent. That shows you the virtues that when a person gives sadaqah, it wipes away their sins. There's another hadith which also shows the importance of giving a sadaqah. And this is something which should be done regularly. This hadith shows the importance of giving it regularly. And this hadith of Abu Hurairah, who said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, and this is the English from the hadith, he says that the, there isn't a day that the worshipper of Allah wakes up except that two angels descend, two angels descend. One of them says, O oh Allah, give to the one that's given sadaqah compensation. I recompense that person with increasing more good, right? And for the one that's withholding sadaqah and is able to give charity, obviously the one that's withholding sadaqah, then wipe away their wealth, okay? So it highlights the angels are making dua for the one that's giving in sadaqah every single day, right? And they're making dua against the person who's able to give sadaqah, but instead he's doing what? He's stingy and he's mean. Sadaqah, the word sadaqah itself, if you look at the word sadaqah, it has sad, dal and qaf in it, which shows sidaqah, right? And it comes from the word sidq because it shows the sincerity of the giver. Like the person that's able to give from their wealth for Allah, it shows that they're sincere because when they give sadaqah, it's a one-way transaction. You're not giving and getting something in return, like when you go to the shop and you buy something, or for example, you go to the restaurant and you eat something, you're paying and you get something. When you give sadaqah, there's nothing in return, it's a one-way transaction. So it shows the sidq, i.e. the sincerity of the one that's giving sadaqah. So sadaqah is really important in the life of the Muslim, and it's not limited to a set amount of money or to a set amount of people or to a set sadaqah even there's a hadith that mentions good actions are considered sadaqah okay so primarily we're speaking about giving wealth however even your actions that you do you're going to be rewarded for them as a form of sadaqah on your, for, against for yourself right when you give do a good deed it's sadaqah for yourself so sadaqah is comprehensive it means giving charity and it's something that every muslim should do on a daily basis now Barakallah fiqh ustah. Wa fiqh